Skagen Denmark is a major player in the worldwide watch manufacturing business. They have a ton of watches under their belt and in their lineup, as well as fairly well-known brand recognition name backing them up. They were founded in 1989, and by 2005 their annual sales increased to over $70 million US. And in 2012, they got bought out by Fossil. So that brings us to today the Skagen Hybrid HR e-ink smartwatch. It is unique in that it does not use an e-ink screen as its top surface. Instead, features a traditional watch lens and actual geared hands that sit in front of the circular e-ink backdrop. A two-week battery life, text messaging, heart rate tracker, and even phone call support, as well as glanceable notifications are fully available on this watch that you wouldn't think would even be a smartwatch. So let's check out some of its features. The beauty about the Skagen and the Fossil line of smartwatches is that you can really change the personality of it. The fact that this one has this really nice chainmail steel, really, really heavy, it changes not only the look, but the entire personality and weight of the unit. And it suits the body color as well. That's the one thing you can't change. You have to make sure when you're buying this, you get the correct body color. This brushed gunmetal is only going to ever be brushed gunmetal. So if you're getting a brown band or a blue band, it might not actually jive with the way you want the watch to look once you have the band attached. Pressing the top button brings you into your steps, your calories burnt, the time spent walking. You can go up here and you can press the middle button to go home. Long pressing the top button turns off and on the back display. It won't turn it off entirely, but what it does is actually gets rid of the little circular icons and just leaves a completely blank background. But you do still get the product placement Skagen logo right there in the back. Pressing the bottom button once will bring up your manager to play your music on your phone. So if you were to sync it to your phone, you can play your music by pressing that. You can go home by going up to home. If you long press it, it's going to open up all the notifications, any messages, if there's any notifications on your phone that will transfer over to here. You'll also be noticing this is an actual face of a watch with hands. If you're just joining us a little bit skipping through the episode, you will see that if you do things, the hands actually go back to the time every single time. And why they go horizontal like that is to get out of the way as much as possible, because if it was 12 o'clock, everything would be stuck up in front of all your notifications. So that's why it gets out of the way every single time you go into a back end menu. Press and holding the middle button, this is where everything's going to be. These are your settings, these are your options, this is where you're going to go to everything. You can go over here and see about, ring my phone, connect challenge, you can use the app to take part in certain challenges, and then you have commute time, you'll choose a point A to point B of where you're actually going every day. You can go to music, but that was already hot keyed by pressing one of the buttons. You can go to notifications, turn those off and on. This is where I don't agree with this. Stopwatch. Stopwatch is so buried in the back end of this kind of sub menu, it doesn't make sense because things like stopwatch and timer are things you're going to be regularly using. Now to their credit, you can press and hold and it will scan through the entire carousel from front to back like that, but it doesn't make any sense why they're so far and so buried and kind of not that easy to navigate over to. Because this is e-ink and because this is, well, a watch, when you press these buttons, they're really high quality buttons, but they take a lot of power to press. And when you do, it takes about half a second to a full second to even do anything. And that's just the inherent nature of the slowness of e-paper. But when you're trying to get to settings, when then you go into stopwatch and you're like, oh, it's the sixth one. And you're just kind of navigating your way over there and you press too many times and it does triple inputs, double inputs like you're seeing there. It can get a little bit tedious to go to these very simple things that we all want to use on a daily basis. 
In the settings menu, you have your notifications, you have your heart rate, you also have the front light. You can have it on or off. Yes, it does have a front light. You can completely bury all the notifications so they basically don't even show up. You can just use this as a watch. And of course, you don't have to connect this to your phone to use it. Although you can, you can choose vibration, dial info, we'll show you that in a second, watch mode, left or right, you can change the text of the notifications itself. Now what I originally thought dial mode was you dial on your phone and then I was like well that would be ridiculous because one there's no touch screen and two to dial or even text someone using these up down and middle button to confirm would be insanely difficult. So what this is is the actual backdrop. This is going to be whether you want those little three or four circles on your screen at any given time, but you can quick key them by just pressing and holding the top as we showed you at the beginning of the video. Now for the app itself, I wouldn't say it's necessary because again, you don't have to connect your watch to this phone, to a phone if any in order to use the watch. You can just use it as a classy watch as is. However, there are some things you can do on here that helps you function the watch a little better. For example, we were telling you about the hotkeys and how things were so buried. You can actually go over to customization and choose what key is what. So for example, if I want my wellness dashboard key that it's on now to be my workout mode, that really changes things up because now I don't have to go to that settings menu. I don't have to go to the sub menu. I don't have to scroll across until I find the thing I want. If I have absolutely no intention of using music control, I can change that to wellness dashboard. I can change my notifications to music control. I can really change these things up. I can even add stopwatch, the one that I really wanted to put there. You can also choose OK on that or choose from some presets as well. So we can go back and you can go to some presets right here, daily, fitness or travel. And everything's going to be just basically the same thing, except you have the control to change each respective one. So that's very, very useful. This is the challenge tab. You can set yourself challenges. You can partake in other challenges, etc. These are where your alerts are going to be. You can add alarms or you can just remove all alerts whatsoever and just have like a clean distraction-free watch which kind of defeats the purpose of it being a smart watch this is your profile you see I'm right there I can set my weight my height and how many steps I've taken I'm currently disconnected on that but all you have to do is turn on Bluetooth you have a lot of things you can do here set out goals auto work detection preferred units if I want to use metric versus imperial or a combination of any one of them I can just toggle all those on I can also opt in to improve my data and receive occasional emails in regards to things like updates and what have you you can also go home and this is where all your stuff's gonna be how many minutes total calories resting and hours you slept obviously this is more of a review sample it's not my daily watch so I have no data for this but that's all gonna show up if you connect this via Bluetooth and you can download the app for free from Google Play does this watch look exactly like the Fossil Collider smartwatch that came out from Fossil directly? Sure it does. It's the same thing. It's a direct white label release of its parent company's already available offering. But lots of companies do this. Rakuten, Tolino, Bokeen and Big Me, the list goes on. If you want a watch that has all the benefits of an e-paper screen, but you still want to retain the authenticity and natural appearance of a watch with physical hands, then the Skagen Hybrid HR is definitely a device you need to watch out for. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.